Okay, so we're going to look at a transitioned hex mesh here. Um, so if you look at one of these plates for a typical bonded joint or something where we might want to look at transitioning. So, for example, if we just hex mesh with a uniform element edge length, and we've got consistent definition over the full geometry region. Okay, so we're going to show you a little trick here to look at splitting or rather partitioning geometry using uh, split using offset face. Um, we're going to set our offset distance. So pick the solid, pick the face you want to do the offset split from. Okay. Now to do this for a transitioned hex mesh, we need two discrete zones or two discrete um, cells between the cell of interest and the original mesh definition. So let me just show you how that looks. So two cells, we need a third cell. So I've measured the model so I know what values to put in here. Okay, so we've got effectively those three regions. If we, if we now solid mesh with a coarser definition in one area, okay, four mil element edge length, and then a finer definition in this inner cell where we might want to be pulling bearing stresses, that type of thing. If we now try and mesh across that transition, it gives us an incompatible uh, cell in there. Okay, so the trick we're going to use here is to use the um, the surface mesh as a seed to transition the hex mesh down. Okay, so we're going to use the mixed algorithm and just mesh that face in there. Okay, so the first face has now gone from four mil down to one mil at the boundary, uh, transitioning through a series of quads and tries. Okay, so we'll mesh that region with our one mil tighter edge length. And now we're going to do the same again, but not this top face. We're going to use this face here to transition this zone. Okay. So repeat that again. So we've gone from quads at four mil down to quads at one mil with a combination of quad and tri transition. Mesh this region. And then finally the inner portion. Okay. So we've ultimately got our transition from 4 mil down to 1 mil. So we look at the uh, model browser and just hide the, the surface mesh. That's just a dummy mesh for the time being. Uh, we can now check our own quality. Okay, so we've got good quality at our bearing face. We do have some poor and bad elements of the transition. You can play around with element sizes to, to try and minimise that type of um, transition uh, but we're good to go both in terms of element quality and also the the free edge check okay so we've got free edges we've got no cracks or splits in the in the model and there we are i hope you found this interesting if you'd like to develop your apex usage head over to our site where you'll find many online learning opportunities